A trending ticker we're watching this morning, iRobot plunging after the EU reportedly intends to block Amazon's $1.4 billion bid to buy the company, according to the Wall Street Journal. The rejection would still need formal approval before a final decision. There you're taking a look pre-market at shares of iRobot down 31% as of right now. A larger question is, was, will, was Amazon and are they going to be willing to go back and try to put forward these concessions? They already missed the deadline. Unclear as to whether or not there will be some leeway here with the EU regulators there. Yeah, there's lots of question there. And obviously, we're seeing the reaction play out in shares this morning. I wrote, I wrote about one of the top trending stickers, uh, tickers on our Yahoo Finance site. But moving this forward beyond the EU, of course, then the focus comes to the FTC. The focus comes to yep. U.S. regulators. There are reports here that it is expected that U.S. regulators are going to push back against this deal, citing antitrust concerns. They are preparing uh, Amazon for a legal challenge here in the EU. They did decline in terms of making any sort of concession sessions that the EU had been pushing for and the EU regulators have been pushing for Amazon uh, to pledge fair treatment to all robot vacuums that were offered on their platform. So pushing back on that, they're now preparing for a legal challenge. But again, this then, when we look ahead, we turn our focus to the U.S., to regulation here. We know, obviously, there has been a crackdown under the Biden administration pushing back on some of these types of deals in terms of antitrust concerns, in terms of this monopoly concern, whether or not there's going to be fair competition throughout this space. So once you see some of the pressure from overseas, from EU antitrust regulators planning to reject this $1.4 billion bid for iRobot, then you have to think to yourself, there's a good chance that maybe U.S. regulators are going to take a similar view. Oh, yeah. And the EU has been more stringent yeah. on Amazon. I mean, do you think back to some of the other settlements that Amazon and the EU have had to reach in the past over anti-competitive practices? Uh, this is just another kind of uh, point in the chronological order that we've seen for the EU Amazon tussle. It is. We will see once we get that official decision again. Just a report here from the Journal.